Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to teach you cross-site scripting and you're going to be able to hack along. So let's go, shall we? First of all, I'm going to be teaching it on a somewhat bigger of an application, not just on a practice platform, like, like just a normal uh, one feature thingy. What I want you to do is I want you to really be able to hunt for cross-site scripting. So first things first, the attack vector i want you to throw into every single field why is this single quote double quote of course javascript context single quote double quote greater than sign of course html tag attribute context and then we have a normal html injection we're going to throw that everywhere we can and we're going to see there we go so let's save it for here and let's log in with what we have now first of all Captcha, I'm not gonna fill it in. Always gonna do that. Always gonna do that. Don't give a fuck. Why do I not give a fuck? Because if I don't fill it in and let it through, then I have a security exploit. Next up. Okay, now context. I see some contexts here. So these are some public contexts, as you can see. So I'm going to create a new contact right now, and I'm going to create a private contact with a broken image. Again, submitted successfully. I can see. Oh. What's this? First name? Strange. Okay, so I do not see my own contact in here yet. Now, okay, it's fine. Probably some error happened in the background. So what I'm going to do now is going to insert a normal contact. Okay, I don't see my contact still. Probably some bullshit in the background. Not gonna give a fuck. Gonna move on. Next feature, I see a search. I'm gonna do the same thing, and suddenly I see my broken image pop, 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 there we go. Why do I tell you guys to go for this really simple attack factor and not to just copy an amazingly long, complicated attack factor you found online? Really simple, it's really simple, and that's why I tell you guys this. Why do I not tell you guys to go for like a B tag, like a, a bull tag? I don't know, for some reason the image seems to be rendered a little bit more for me. You can go for a bold tag, you can go for an underline tag. I don't give a shit as long as you do some HTML type of injection there. Because this brings me on to my next point. Okay, there we go. Going to add a event handler on error equals alert. Now if I do get a problem right here, I'm going to see if it's the alert or the event handler. In this case, I don't get a problem at all. Bam, cross-site scripting. Now, what, I'm, what am I going to do? Of course, I'm not just going to alert. I'm going to try to steal the cookies. Now, I found a pretty good attack tool for that. And because it, it's really simple. It gives you a, a few options. Of course, you can build your own server. All you have to do is make an XHR request to your own server and add this as a parameter, the docu document.cookie, add like a parameter there and give the document.cookie as a value because there you can steal like things like the session cookie. You're going to smuggle them off of the page. Look it up, XHR request JavaScript. It's not really hard because you're doing JavaScript in the end here at least. Now page opener, I'm going to try the same thing. See URL here, nothing, okay. No reflection or nothing. This is probably making a post request, so I'm going to need things like a uh, like, uh, for example, I can do this with Burp Suite, I can do this with Postman, I can do this even with the developer tools in Firefox. Wow, cool. On to the next one, user settings. Here we go, already broken out of this. Now, what does this mean? I need to register a new account because once I do this, it doesn't work. As you can see, it doesn't work. Either that or I need to change my name for real. Uh, if I know how to, I need to uh, fix this broken HTML code. But of course, I'm not going to, I'm going to register a new account and I'm going to see, okay, since I've broken out of this right now and I even have HTML injection, I'm going to try the two types of cross-site scripting here. On to the checker. Okay, JWT, that's probably JWT stuff. Nothing I need to write here. Okay, on to the contact and customer support. I'm going to leave a message. This doesn't work, but I do see reflection here. Now, if I look real, real careful and use something like retire.js, it's not showing it right now, but I do have a retired, or I should say, a vulnerable version of Angular running in the background, which means that I can look for Angular CSTI injections. And as you can see, 
I have the same thing going on as I had before, a nice little pop up. So that's how you look for cross site scripting in bigger applications. You go through every single thing very methodically and you go and inject and you go and see if that random value gets reflected somewhere. I choose the lazy route. You can also just enter a random string and go look for that on the page, but look for it in the source code as well because it might get reflected in the JavaScript. We haven't even gone over that yet. There's also things like DOM cross-site scripting, for example. These are just a few examples of how you can look for cross-site scripting on a bigger application. Now, you can also visit this on hexpert.com slash redsite, and the URL here should already have given it a little bit away, because the URL of customer support is angular underscore test. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for today. That's all I wanted to show you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.